All right, and welcome to the MCL playoffs. Today we have Gla mm -hmm. or Ridiculous Six versus Yotes on Lijiang Tower. I'm Hiri, and joining me tonight is my co-caster. Hello, I'm Peaches. And so far, it looks the game has not started yet. So Peaches, so it... what kind of comps do you think these teams are going to be playing on this map? Um, I... I feel like we've been seeing um, um, Akame has been switching, has it been like between tank and DPS? So that, or at least between our matches, right? Yes. So I I'm think I've seen curious. Akame on tank more. I yeah, I definitely think um, I've seen them playing a bit more strongly on tanks. So I guess that's the one I'm usually watching for is when I see them on Zarya. Um, that seems like to be one of their stronger plays. Oh, but look, there we are. Looks like it looks like ridiculous. Gonna have a slightly easier time with the Kame on the Doomfist instead of the Zarya. Right. So that'll be interesting. And um, I guess I'm actually a little bit surprised to see that as well. Both teams look like are rolling out so the Ryan Zarya, and, uh, along with the Genji. However, it looks like the Yotes well. is not going to be going with an Ana to like Nano the Genji. They're going to be going with a Lucio Bab combo for heals and support. This could be very interesting. Definitely not the comps that I expected to see. Yeah. But... It looks like Ridiculous 6 is going for more of a damage boost support role, whereas Ridiculous 6 is... Or not Ridiculous 6. The Yotes is going for more of a... AOE healing. Right, but definitely off to a very aggressive start. Night Raven being taken down Shadow and getting taken down by Icy Lunar. High being able to come in and pick two off. They don't seem very to be very worried about the point. <laughs> Alright, now First we see them backing up a little bit. For the Yotes. I see Lunar catching a Kame off. The advantage is with Ridiculous Six at the moment, but time. They are puts um. That's coming out. All right, Ridiculous there we Six. go. It's Nano's coming out. Unfortunately, they don't have Blade yet. So Nano is Seems not like the be. Ridiculous Six oh. just did not really take good advantage of that early pick. I think if they had a Lucio, like the Yotes did, they would have been able to speed boost through right to the enemy team and quickly right. finish the fight off. Unfortunately though, it looks like they kind of stalled during their push, allowing the Yotes to stabilize and wait for their six to come back. Mm -hmm. And it looks like now the Yotes has the ult advantage. The Yotes very much with the ult advantage. I see they're getting picked off. Kami trading. Shatter coming through, finding two. Okay. B and Lamp both come out on the side of the Yotes. Blade unfortunately not finding any picks. However, Yotes saw the six pretty is being strong ult advantage for this fight. I think they're Shatter gonna be able through, to catch them two off guard. Both end up falling from the Shatter. Looks like um, the ridiculous the six is crying is alone point. on point. Unfortunately, no escape for him. Another cleanup for the Yotes. Now we'll see if the Ridiculous Six can regroup and make it back in time. It's, looks like the Yotes is using all of their alts at the last second here. To Unfortunately, it looks like the touching. Ridiculous Six wasted their uh, nano there. Unfortunate. And that is the first round to the Yotes. Hopefully the next map, Ridiculous 6 can form a little better. Play into their strengths some more. So on this map, I'm definitely expecting to see Symmetra's for the teleporter straight to point. Mm -hmm. No switches yet. Switches yet. It looks like Ridiculous 6 is going to be going with the Far Mercy. Oh, there we and go. And hi, switching off of Genji onto Sombra. I don't think I've ever seen him play Sombra before. Ridiculous Six switching off the pharmacy, going to Reaper instead. 
is interesting. No Symmetra's on either side, so no teleport. The two poking at each other at the moment. Tommy, fortunately falling early. I can high pick off Icy Lunar, make it a fair trade. Fortunately not. Alright, now Ridiculous 6 does have a pretty heavy advantage. But that advantage is slipping quickly as Kame comes back. Now, looks like the fight has gone the Yotes' favor. We cap the point. Mm -hmm. And now they are just cleaning up the fight. Now I do believe this time, if Acrocat actually waits for Icy Lunar to get his blade before nanoing him, they very could easily turn this back around. But I know this choke can be very difficult to push through for teams, especially when you're going up against a team as well coordinated and... They also, the Yotap grab right now too, yep. Both... With the Ridiculous Six grouped up like that, definitely yeah. saw that coming. The comment looks then, like he's trying to perhaps get a sneaky pick off the back of the Yo or the Ridiculous Six as they push through. Unfortunately gets caught out by Idiom. Forced to retreat. Shatter coming through from Night Raven. Only catching Momlock. No follow up to finish her off. As Akame is going wild in the back line, just doing as he pleases. Yeah, Akame definitely disrupted that uh, push there. It almost seemed like Ridiculous Six was going to move up in there, but definitely got split. Oh, Icy Lunar. That is so unfortunate. For this last push, it does look like the Ridiculous Six has alt advantage. That, and we see Blade coming out. Unfortunately, is... Kami is able to shut it down as Grab comes through to keep Ooh. them from touching. Li Zhang Tower goes to the Yotes. Mm -hmm. Those grabs were pretty big. Yes. And Li Zhang Tower, I believe, is one of the Yotes' stronger maps. Oh, they yeah. They seem to outperform every team on it. But this especially was very devastating for Ridiculous 6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely feel in, those, um, in that match, Yotes seem to get a lot more value out of their ults. I think Ridiculous 6 just wasn't really getting full advantage of their I ult think usage. prior to every fight, the what was going on was that the Yotes was actually calling out which ults they would be using during the fight, which ones they would use mm -hmm. first, and what, which ones would be follow-ups. Whereas it seems like for Ridiculous 6, it was kind of just left up to each individual player's whims as to when to ult. I, yeah, definitely agree there. Yotes also definitely seem to manage their ult use very well, and you know, not um, we didn't we didn't really see well that last one. We of course saw Shatter and Grav together, but otherwise, um, they uh, definitely didn't seem to be just wasting all their ults at once. Which I feel like we kind of saw that a bit ridiculous six. Yes, we definitely saw several alts for on the side of ridiculous six that didn't really seem to serve a purpose or mm -hmm. to be used effectively. Mm -hmm. But on this next map, it is Ridiculous Six's pick. So we'll see how they perform there. Maybe Li Zhang is just one of the maps that they're bad with. It looks like they picked Hollywood. Very Ooh. interesting. <laughs> All right, looks like we're taking a breather. <laughs> it's 
So we've got Yotes, Yotes. Hmm, something seems odd here. <laughs> Yeah, it was one. It was one of flip sides on me. <laughs> We're on stream still. Okay. All right, I got everything things squared away. I'm looking at everything. Looks like we got Hollywood. They brought somebody into sub only. Yotes and Yotes. Yes, ridiculous six. I don't know why it always says that. Ridiculous six locked in there. All right. Let's. Oh, let me fix the stream. Everyone, sit tight. I like to switch it on me. Boom. All right, here we go. My goodness. Bam. Here we go. Are we ready? Yes. All right. So I'm very interested. I definitely believe that the Yotes is going to be going for more of a divey comp on attack that definitely seems to be their forte yep i i really am not too terribly familiar with uh the players on ridiculous six um it looks like we have icy lunar and idiom playing dps is that right sorry we're doing a swap i didn't see that swap there oh okay um let's see Right, we're swapping bread in, swap to red. A crunchy swap to Only red. Okay. Let's start. Here we go. Boom. All right, now we're starting for real. All right. All right, this time for real. And Yotes wanted to be on attack, so here we go. All so right. It'll be very interesting to see what comps these teams pull out for attack and defense. I'm fairly certain that the Yotes is going to go for a divey very fast in an out comp. Uh, just because, as I said, that's their forte. That seems to be what they perform best with, or at least what we've seen them perform best with. But for Ridiculous 6, I'm not quite sure what they'll be pulling out for defense. Um I don't think I've really seen too many defense here oriented heroes from them. See, we've got Zarya so far. I'm assuming then Shadow's probably going to be going Ryan. This is a very I don't know if this is the final comp on the part of the Yotes. Oh one hundred percent. They red <laughs> red will definitely play uh, that hamster the whole time. I don't think I've ever seen him play any other character. <laughs> okay. Yeah, very unconventional comp here. We got <laughs> hamster, <laughs> roadhog, widow. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's happening. Let's see what they do. Now I did make fun of Akami's widow last time I played with him, so I am very interested to see how he does. Definitely uh, worried about that tracer. Oh, tracer's right on him. Okay, I see. He's still a bad widow. All right, I feel comfortable. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Okay. It looks like the Yotes is getting their advantage with their tanks pushing so aggressively. And Discord or coming out from Noah, death. Kami finally securing his first pick on Widow. <laughs> Pushing up a little too far, though. Looks like Ridiculous 6 kind of wanted to contest that. I think they're going to let it go. Yes, I don't think they have the... I don't think there's an option for them anymore to contest. Just the aggression coming out on the parts of the Yotes tanks along with that Discord orb. It's just putting too much pressure on them. Kami using his ult. Missing a Mercy twice. Thrice. Four times. It's like, uh... Ooh, Kami hitting a shot. 
I'm okay, I need to stop rolling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kami, finally popping off. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Ouch. Kami. Pop off. I'd be worried to play against him with Pharah. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'll just pull out Hanzo. Poop on him again. There you go. Yeah, it definitely seems that. Crafting uh, three up. Yo, it's definitely uh, performing a lot stronger as a team. Uh, Ridiculous Six just doesn't really seem to be playing together. I think out of all the teams in the league, it's the Yotes that has the most time together in practice. Mm -hmm. Whether it being it definitely shows. Or play. Right now, they're doing a really great job of grouping up together, waiting for everyone before they push in. Mm -hmm. Icy Lunar is pushing in by himself. Unfortunately, yep, he's we... gonna cost him his life, giving the Yotes an advantage. All right. Yep, two person. They also uh, definitely have a huge Not, ult advantage. And unfortunately, their Zen is getting caught alone with the ball, meaning that Oof. now they have no supports and their team quickly falls. So I think for that fight, if Icy Lunar had just been a little bit more patient and waited for one of his tanks to come push up with him, yep. it would have been a much different story. I don't know if they're gonna jump on it or not. Ooh, wow. Ooh. All right, Ridiculous Six needs to fall as far back as possible, possibly even back to spawn, because right now they're in an extremely disadvantaged situation. Disadvantaged. God, I cannot talk today. They're in a very bad <laughs> spot. But they need to get out. <laughs> because right now. Oh. What's happened is the Yotes has taken Lunar has all to of the space. Widow. They still have time. Can group up, hopefully. Focus this ball, who's alone in their spawn. Or, not alone, but with very well? little support. Oh. Grav coming out, unfortunately, not finding anyone. His whole hog and nano is used on the side of the Yotes. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's enough for the Yotes to really secure this fight, as it looks like Ridiculous Six is starting to stabilize and win back. We see defense. how. Yep, and we see uh, Yotes backing off now. But it does look like the Yotes has alt advantage here. Mm hmm. Switching off Roadhog for D.Va on the Yotes. Think you can get a D.Va bomb off? I think so, especially since Ridiculous Six no longer has... Oh, that massive EMP coming out on the part of High, catching five off. Yotes pushing the advantage, getting as many picks as they want. Fortunately, this could be it for the Yotes, or for Ridiculous Six. I don't know how bread like stayed alive there. The There's a deep There's bomb. bomb coming out, and unfortunately, that means they cannot contest in time to stop it. I would say, all in all, though, against the Yotes, that's pretty good time on the clock. <laughs> Yeah, Ridiculous Six stops. held a pretty good defense. Mm -hmm. Now it'll be interesting to see what the Yotes do on defense. If they're going to still be running the ball, or if they're going to be... But they will still be running the ball, I guarantee it. <laughs> yeah. Well... Say whatever you want. Respect on Bread. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what character he wants to play, and he plays him. The team comp's interesting, though, for defense. Uh, Tracer, I guess they're going to go super divey, like an attackful defense. This comp allows them to have a lot of mobility, which is great because it allows the D.Va to really retreat back to their Widow when she needs help, or the Zen. 
you you have a ball and you have a tree that's going to be in your back line. So Ridiculous 6 needs to have some kind of stun. And they don't have yeah. anything right now. You need a Brig or McCree? The Zen Discorp orb could be good enough if they really communicate their targets and focus them. And I see Lunar fi finding Akame right off the bat. As I said, Akame's Widow is just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, fortunately there to save it for Akami, <laughs> as he gets Acro Cat. <laughs> the fight is currently even. Ball jumping on the Widow is high. Currently being patient to jump this, into the fight as this well. Poor Widow is getting attacked by the Tracer and <laughs> the Hamster. And it's, I don't know how Icy Lunar is still alive. Yeah, that, that. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> oh, and he gets the and he gets the Zen. Oh, almost got the mercy. So I think the ridiculous six definitely has the right idea with putting so many resources into icy lunars. It seems that he's really able to get the picks when it's important. Yeah. But I, I think what they up. definitely need to do, yeah, they definitely need to group up more, and they need to have some kind of CC for the ball and the tracer in their backline. It's coming. Going for trick Tommy shots. going for the jump shots. <laughs> Hi, being able to find Icy Lunar off guard with no support, then finding the Zen. Kami just finds the floor, uh, and unfortunately, mercy. he's still alive. Or maybe the Mercy's picking on him. Still alive. Very impressive. All right, we got a blade here. Let's see what they do with it. So this could actually be very good for Ridiculous Six if they push. They got to group ground. up. They're all over the place. All right, they got to reset. Fortunately, they'll high and bread, finding all the picks they want in the back line. TC just isn't there to stop them. But it does seem that Ridiculous Six is catching on, and they now have Brig and McCree. Uh, I think it would have been a little bit better to have the Mercy switch to Brig than the Zen, because that uh, Discord orb would have been very helpful in dealing with the ball. Yeah, we're gonna have, we're about to have three alts ridiculous six here, but okay. there's oh no, there's three. There's four alts on the Yotes side. Yotes. Very much in the alt advantage at the moment. How did that pin miss? Blade coming out, unfortunately trans immediately to follow. Yeah. Oh, Diva Bomb. Because of that. Heads up. Alright, reset again. This time, just popping off. Finding Hopefully three on Ridiculous Six. Get a chance to actually regroup here. Yep. Yes, unfortunately, it does somewhat feel as though Ridiculous Six has been staggering into this fight. Yeah, they gotta group up because they're fighting against two times the clock and time on the oats. <laughs> they are not giving it they anything. They still have not learned to pay attention to high and bread. It's very dangerous to ignore two flankers like that, especially there when is they're as well communicated as the oats. That's just a lot. 17 seconds. I don't think they can touch. Akame popping off, finding two in a row. Wall's coming out. Can he find a third? Yes, he can. Let's go. This is what I like to see, Akame. All right, I complimented him once. He can't say that I was bullying him out. <laughs> That's it. And it's the Yotes win. Yo, it's advancing to the uh, finals next week. They are. Don't see these too often. Agricat is very good at um, Zen. Yeah, I think if they had supported their Zen more, allowed or built their comp around him, they would have had a much better chance against the Yotes. Definitely. But they did do very well. Mm -hmm. Good game all around. Yes. 
GG's everyone. Thank you so much here in Peaches for casting tonight. Really appreciate it. And good luck tomorrow, hopefully. Um, still working on scheduling your game. It'll either be tomorrow at 8 or Thursday at 8. So everyone that's watching, stay tuned for that. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right. You all have a good night. You too.